Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you the installing the Python connector. This is the second video from connecting to Snowflake connectors and drivers playlist. Here is the today's agenda. Three requisites. Step 1, Step 2, Step 3. So, to install the Python connector, you should have already installed the Python Python packages, installers and setup tools, Python pa packages, PyOpen SSL. This is only for Mac OS. If you are going to install the Python connector on Mac OS, then you have to configure PyOpen SSL and Open SSL and FFI. This is only for Linux. If you are planning to, if you are going to install the Python connector in uh, Linux operating system, you should configure the open SSL. Please note that as part of this video, I am going to install the Python connector on Windows operating operating system. So I am not going to talk about these two topics in this video. Once you uh, have everything as part of the prerequisites, then these are the three steps you have to to follow to install the python connector as part of the first step install the connector and second step verify your installations okay post install the connector you just run the sample python code which connect to the snowflake database okay that is the how you are going to verify and third step is the specify a temporary directory okay these are the three steps you have to do for installing the python connector in on windows operating system or any other operating systems why i am uh, uh, you know uh, said that windows operating system because in this video i am going to install the windows operating uh, on windows operating system so what are all operating system uh, you know operating system supports to install python connector the latest versions of the most snowflake clients are supported on the following operating systems see here is the operating system name and what are the supported versions so a linux centos 7.8 red hat enterprise linux that is rh el 7.8 ubuntu 16.04 18.04 and if you are going to install the python connector on mac os then here are the supported versions 10.13 10.14 10 10.15 if you are going to install the, your python connector on microsoft windows okay microsoft windows 8 8.1 10 microsoft windows servers 2012 2016 and 2019 as part of the prerequisites how we are going to check whether python has been installed in your system or not so for that the snowflake connector for python requires the python 3.6 3.7 3.8 or 3.9 so what is the minimum supported version python version 3.6 you should install the 3.6 or higher version so to verify your version of the python here is the command okay open the command prompt python hyphen hyphen python space hyphen hyphen version so if already python has been installed okay in your system you would see the below output like you know python 3.6.8 assume that here in my operating system i already installed the python that is the version is the 3.6.8 okay so 3.6 is the minimum supported version so i have installed 3.6.8 okay python package installer and setup tools okay here uh, this the snowflake connector for python is installed by how you are going to install the python connector okay on top of python you should have a pip a standard python package installer and manager tool so you should have installed the python also as part of the prerequisites use the pip version 
0.0 or later okay so what is the minimum version of fit 19.0 execute the following command to ensure the required version is installed how you are going to check whether pip is installed or not in your op okay in your operating system okay to verify your uh, version of the python pip here is the command okay python hyphen m pip install space hyphen hyphen upgrade pip so this is the how you are going to install the pip even though if you already install the pip so it will upgrade suppose if you have if you might have installed the 18 version or something like for this case we need the minimum version is the 19 so that it will take care of okay please note that you once you execute you will be see uh, okay you will be seeing the successfully installed pip hyphen your version like you know 21 latest version here is the latest version okay once this is the pip installed okay then you can start the step one install the connector okay the snowflake connector for python is available in please note down note down uh, okay snowflake connector for python is available in the pypy or else you know you can download this python connector from web okay you, you you might have your snowflake account and uh, uh, you have a web UI, correct? Go to the web UI and uh, uh, okay, from there there is a one tab help help. Okay, uh, from that tab you can download the uh, you know this Python connector, or else this is the another okay PYPI. From there you can check the details and can download the your Python connector. Okay, a change log is available on this site. So you can determine the change that have been implemented in each release. What are all the changes have been uh, you know implemented in each release wise please go through and based on that you can choose the uh, okay connector version okay python connector version for snowflake when installing a version of the snowflake connector for python snowflake recommends installing the versions of the dependent dependent libraries that have been tested with that version of the connector so you know you might you may have a different python connector versions okay for each version there are some dependency libraries so those libraries have been already tested along with that python connector so that you know you can install them to install the snowflake connector for python and the dependency libraries i will show you that one so here is the determine the okay version of the snowflake connector for python that you plan to install first out of the different uh, python connector versions you choose the what is the version you are going to install once you are uh, okay taking the decision what is the version i am going to install okay to install the dependent libraries run the pip command and point to the requirements file okay for that version of the connector so basically here i am not going to show you that one anyhow if you install that connector it will automatically uh, you know install the all the dependent uh, dependent versions so please uh, you know um, check the document for this one if you are getting any error okay to install the connector run the following command this is the command to install the python connector pip install snowflake iphone connector iphone python equal to equal to version so where version is the version of the connector that you want to install as i said that we may have a multiple con the python connector versions based on your uh, you know python version okay so here uh, if you see pip in pip space install space snowflake iphon connector iphon python equal to equal to 2.5.0 so to install the version 2.5 this is the command with this command you can install the python connector once you install the python connector then the next step is the how you are going to verify your installation is successfully completed or not i mean even though if your installation is successful, successfully completed then uh, you know validate with how you are going to validate create a file called the validate.py containing the following python sample code which connects to the snowflake and displays the snowflake version basically after installing python connector you make sure that your python connector is working or not so how you are going to do that one by writing one python code which 
connects to the Snowflake database and displays the Python, uh, sorry, Snowflake version, simply. Okay, so how we are going to do that one? Here, this is the sample uh, code. Okay, I will explain the, what is that import? So, uh, if you want to import, if you want to use the any library as part of your uh, Python code, okay, you have to import that library by using the import keyword. Okay, here to connect to the Snowflake, we need the Snowflake connector, which we have uh, just now installed. Okay, Snowflake dot connector is the library to connect to the Snowflake. Okay, how you are going to get the version in the Snowflake connector, there are, as I mentioned in the first video, okay, as part of the series. So, Snowflake connector having the two methods, okay, two methods. One is the connect method, another one is the cursor. So, this is the con uh, C, uh, CTX is the connect variable. So, from that, snowflake.connector.connect, you have to pass the user name, what is your uh, Snowflake username, what is your password, what is your account. These are the required parameters to establish the connection between your Python and Snowflake. Okay. And you can pass the other, uh, I mean, you know, optional parameters like, you know, what is your database, what is your schema, what is your role, like that you can also use the other parameters while establishing the connection. Okay. After, once you are ready with your connection, then CS is equal to, CS is equal to context dot cursor from your connection object okay you can open the cursor okay once you open the cursor you write your actual code here i am writing the code in the try block so to avoid to catch the exceptions here just i uh, see try is the try block is the mandatory and exception block is the optional and finally also is the optional but however finally okay will be executed even though if there is no exception okay thrown as part of your code this finally block will be always executed so if you want to do cleanup activities or some uh, i mean closing the connections okay all these things okay you can mention the finally so that this block will be going to execute any cost okay whether you are, you have a exception or not respect of that okay so cs dot execute inside my try block cs dot execute okay this execute is the method from the cursor object to execute any valid statement select current version here because we are going to check that okay what is the version of the snowflake so select um, current underscore version okay uh, after that uh, you have to fetch that row Okay, for that, for that, here I am taking the one variable, one underscore row, equal to CS, because this is the my cursor method, from that cursor, fetch one. So, fetch one is the another, okay, uh, you know, uh, method to fetch the first row. See, we have a fetch one, fetch many, fetch all like that. So, here, uh, assume that I am going to display the only one row. Okay, current version and also I know that this query is going to return only one row with one column. So, finally print uh, one, and, one underscore row of uh, zero because this is the array. Why uh, array? Because your row may contains the more than one columns. Here one row, on, only one row and one column. Okay, even though one column, if you want to print that one, if you want to access that column, you have to use the index. So in Snow, uh, in in Python, index will be starting from zero. Okay, that's why I will use the zero. And finally, block. I am closing the only this one. Okay, cursor connection only. I am closing. And uh, after that, okay, this is the connection close. Once you connection close, then your uh, Python code has been completed. Writing the complete Python code, then you ready to execute this python how you are going to execute that python code so you have to use the python please note that i already set the environment variables okay i added my python path as part of the path okay environment variable in windows please uh, uh, i am assuming that you are very well about the uh, uh, how to set the environment variables in uh, windows operating system that's why i i didn't i am i'm not showing Though, uh, that information so directly i am executing the python d colon because my uh, my validated python st 
saved in the uh, this directory that's why i am not executing from this directory for i am executing the from c colon that's why i have mentioned the complete path okay of my validate.py so once you executed this successfully we will be see, uh, seeing okay 5.30.2 this is the my current version which i am using okay that means once you see this one once you see this one okay five version that means your installation is perfectly working yeah. and final step is this specify a temporary directory the snowflake connector for python uses a temporary directory to store the data for loading and unloading like loading and unloading how you are going to do put and get as well as other types of temporary data please set the temporary directory so if you are going to perform the loading or unloading so by default if you don't mention any path okay uh, in your inside script in your uh, inside script okay so it will take the this temporary directory the temporary directory can be explicitly specified by setting the uh, you know temp directory temp or temp environment variables otherwise the operating system default temporary directory uh, would be c colon temp is the is used okay is the c colon temp is the windows environment and forward slash temp is the uh, linux or ubuntu or all the versions mac os whatever it may be yeah that's all from this video thank you for watching my video if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel click on bell icon for notifications like it and share it to your friends Thank you once again.